We all know that urine flow plays a major role in the formation of kidney stones. But what impact do prostate issues have on kidney stones in men as we age? So if you're a man over 40 and want to learn more about the problems that your prostate might be causing, stick around for this video. Hi, I'm Joey Weichman, and welcome to Stone Relief. Since men seem to form more kidney stones than women at this point in time, we're going to spend some time today investigating an issue that several of us may face as we get older, and that is the challenge of prostate issues. Prostate issues generally start to impact us after we reach the age of 40. But what impact does it have when it comes to our kidney stones? And that's what we're going to talk about today. So first place that I want to start was just to provide a little bit of background for those of you who are maybe a little bit uneducated about the purpose that our prostate serves. Because I know that I was, back when I first started to investigate what impact of anything that this may have on it. So let's just set a foundation here. So our prostate, this is a gland that is going to produce seminal fluid for us. It's not producing the actual semen itself, it's producing seminal fluid. And this is generally something that it, it is going to be surrounding our urethra. So it's a little gland that surrounds the urethra, and the urethra is the, the tubule, I guess I'll call it, that takes uh, urine from your bladder and exits your body. <laughs> so one of the biggest issues that we have with prostate is something called BPH. This is benign prostatic hyperplasia. And this starts at about 40 years old. And really concerningly, I mean, it's impacting almost everybody. So 50% of men over 50 years of age are going to suffer from this, at least according to the most recent statistics. And as we get older, the percentage doesn't get any better. I've seen figures as high as 80 plus percent for those of the a population that are 75 or older. That's crazy levels of impact that this is having. So chances are, unless we make some pretty dramatic dietary changes, which you should be if you're forming kidney stones, this is going to be a potential issue for us. So what are some of the symptoms of BPH that we might be needing to look out for if we're over 40 and if we're dealing with kidney stones? So frequent urination is probably one of the most prevalent things that people complain about when they have BPH. So it's like, I'm not able to express my bladder fully enough, so I have to go back and I'm urinating constantly. And I have this urge to urinate, because again, my bladder has not been able to successfully empty due to restrictions with regards to our prostate. Another thing, difficulty starting and stopping. So this is, um, you know, if you're sitting in front of the urinal, sitting in front of the toilet, and it's just like, come on, come on, come on, come on, I gotta go, but come on, come on. And then you can't stop either afterwards. So this is just kind of a nightmare situation. Uh, a weak stream is another thing that you might see. So you may be trying to void your bladder and you may feel like you've really got to go, but the only thing that you're going to get is just a weak trickle. And this is incredibly frustrating, but again, it all links back to the prostate, squeezing on the urethra, and restricting urine flow. Also, that incomplete emptying that I had mentioned, this is also another thing that's going to continue to feed that vicious cycle a little bit of always feeling like you got to go, uh, but never ever really fully getting there. So let's talk about what are some of the contributing factors that might be causing this situation. Unfortunately, it is not very well understood. Even amidst all the research that's been done out there, it is still not great. So there are a lot of question marks with this. So some of them have linked erectile dysfunction to being a cause of this. Uh, some studies have pointed to elevated levels of dihydrogen uh, testosterone or DHT, uh, which is the more active form of testosterone and diet. <laughs> and if you've been following any of my videos, this is really the one that we need to center in on is with regards to diet and how that is impacting our overall body because most of the population, and I say most because 87% of the population today is suffering from some form of metabolic dysfunction. And metabolic dysfunction, and we're going to talk about here in a little bit, is really tied to insulin resistance. And insulin, that's like miracle growth for your prostate. And we're going to dig into that more in the next chapter. Just a reminder, this information is available in written form on our website. Find the link below in the description. All right, so now that we have an understanding of some of the prostate-related issues that we may be facing as we get older as men, let's talk about the impact that it may have on kidney stone risk. So, unfortunately, there is really no direct link when it comes to kidney stones. So, prostate issues on a whole are not going to directly contribute to a kidney stone forming. However, there is some indirect link to this, as I alluded to at the end of the last chapter, but also we'll ferret out here a little bit further. So, first thing, BPH. Any type of 
prostate problem is really going to be restricting urine flow. And that boils back to, you know, difficulty starting stopping, weak stream, and then inability to avoid the bladder. So when we're talking about these things, anything that's going to be infecting or affecting rather urine flow, this is problematic because whenever something gets in the way of urine flow, when it comes to kidney stones, this generally increases risk because the more time stone forming elements are given to mingle together, the more opportunity for crystallization and growth uh, that is provided for that particular type of stone. So we want to try to get urine flowing. And unfortunately, when it comes to prostate issues, the prostate doesn't expand outward. <laughs> it expands inward and puts this pressure on your urethra, which again, which is leading to these things here difficulty starting stopping, weak flow, and then inability to avoid the bladder fully. So this is a problem in that respect. So lower urine flow increases your stone risk because again, more time to bind. Also, benign prosthetic hyperplasia, or BPH, can increase your risk for UTIs. And again, this is all about urine flow and the ability to avoid your bladder and get rid of things that are in your waste, which is what urine is. Urine is a waste. Trying to get it out of your body. Unfortunately, when it gets trapped, <laughs> things stagnate and we have problems that occur. So this can actually potentially contribute to calcium phosphate stones forming as well as struvite stones. Um, so the last thing that I had mentioned in that last chapter about how insulin is miracle grow <laughs> for your prostate and it being linked to diet. So when it comes to kidney stone risk, you know, really we probably should be talking about dietary choices here because if we're consuming a diet that is leading us to have some form of insulin resistance, and this is a cluster of diseases, this could be like abdominal obesity, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, diabetes, the list goes on. And this is all about the foods that we're eating. Really, truly they are. So when we consume those poor foods, ultra processed foods, sugar, alcohol, uh, refined grains, those type of things, insulin builds in our body and that also causes a problem with insulin management or insulin resistance which is really kind of the root of metabolic dysfunction so if we fix our diet we can minimize well minimize a lot of these free, these symptoms that we're experiencing here that then are contributing factors to stone risk over here so like restricting urine flow we don't have prostate issues we don't have restricted urine flow issues so all those things change when we have a better focus on our diet. Now, the other thing that I want to make mention of here is that most of the stones that are created from prostate issues, actually, they end up in the bladder. And this makes sense because when we're talking about urine exiting the body, you know, we're really talking about the bladder to the urethra. Now, the whole urinary tract is definitely involved, but really things kind of get held up in that bladder to urethra type of junction. So it's not, not surprising that most of these stones are forming in the bladder versus the kidney because the stone forming elements are transiting down and gravity is feeding them basically into your bladder. And since you can't fully void your bladder or you've got infrequent stopping, starting, weak stream, all those stone forming elements are kind of collecting in your bladder instead of up here in your kidney. And that's why they form down here versus up in the kidney. So back to what we were talking about with regards to diet. Diet truly is going to be the biggest lever that you can pull as a man uh, or a woman with regards to kidney stones. But in this case, with regards to being a man and dealing with any kind of a prostate issue, that is going to be the biggest changes and the biggest impact that you can make is by changing your diet. But making changes to your diet is not a simple proposition. I know, I spent over a decade self-experimenting, trying this diet, trying that diet, failing miserably in my pursuit of trying to stop kidney stone formation until I finally figured it out. And I haven't had a kidney stone in over six years. So that is incredibly encouraging. So if you're looking to learn what I know, head on over to our website, stone-relief.com, click on the coaching button up in the header, book a call with me, and we'll get you started down the path to not only improving your health overall, but also potentially mitigating some of your prostate issues and putting an end to your kidney stones. Visit our website if you'd like to join a community of people learning to manage their kidney stones naturally. See you in the next video.